you welcome to Dr. Wise the learning point in this video we will study about shock in this video we will study what is shock and the different types of shock so shock is a state or systemic state of low tissue perfusion that is inadequate for normal cellular respiration that means it is a condition that less volume of blood or less oxygen is going to the tissues and that amount of oxygen is not sufficient to carry out the normal cellular respiration the different types of shock one is the hypovolemic shock second obstructive third distributive fourth endocrine and fifth others let us start with hypovolemic shock why does hypovolemic shock occurs because there it is reduced circulatory volume as the name says hypovolume that means volume kam ho gaya hai circulatory volume kam ho gaya hai now hypovolemic shock can be hemorrhagic it can be non hemorrhagic right now let us study about these in details now hemorrhagic that is related with blood it is caused due to trauma or injury bahut blood flow ho raha hai to blood nikal raha hai to volume bhi kam ho ja raha hai and non hemorrhagic is due to the poor fluid intake suppose when there is dehydration in the body or when there is excess fluid loss due to vomiting or diarrhea it can also be due to third spacing for example conditions like pancreatic surgeries which require extensive retroperitoneal dissection so hemorrhagic shock is trauma and surgery and non hemorrhagic shock is when due to vomiting or due to diarrhea or due to third spacing surgeries now the second type of shock is the cardiogenic shock why is this occurring this is occurring because of the primary failure of the heart to pump the blood to the tissues because naam se pata chal raha hai cardiogenic matlab heart se related hoga heart is unable to pump the blood to the tissues what are the causes of cardiogenic shock myocardial infarction cardiac dysarrhythmias valvular heart disease dilated cardiomyopathy and other cardiac trauma so jo bhi cardiac se related hoga valvular disease infarction ischemia trauma wo sab aayenge cardiogenic shock ke causes mein ke andar now there can also be myocardial depression which can lead to cardiogenic shock now this myocardial depression is due to exogenous factors for example if you are taking a drug which is causing myocardial depression it can also be due to certain toxins or microbial agents but these toxins and microbial agents are the endogenous factors a drug aap bahar se lete ho drugs is the exogenous factors right the third type of shock that we will study is obstructive shock This occurs when there is reduction in the preload, which results in reduction of the cardiac filling. Cardiogenic में क्या रहता? Heart ठीक से pump नहीं कर पा रहा है blood. इसीलिए बाकी जगह पे shock हो गया है. Obstructive मतलब cardiac filling में problem है because there is reduction in the preload. Now what are the causes of obstructive shock? Is the cardiac tamponade. Suppose there is a condition. When the heart is unable to expand. Tamponade मतलब क्या हो गया? Pericardial effusion की वजह से हुआ है. तो heart ठीक से डायलेट नहीं कर पा रहा है डायस्टोलिक कंडीशन उसमें ठीक से नहीं हो पा रहा है क्योंकि बाहर में फ्लूड है इसलिए कार्डियक टेम्पोनेट इज वन ऑफ द कॉजेस द अदर कॉजेज ऑफ ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव शॉक कैन बी न्यूमोथोरैक्स और स्पेसिफिकली आई वुड से इट इज टेंशन न्यूमोथोरैक्स बिकॉज इन न्यूमोथोरैक्स वोट हैपन्स एयर अंदर आता है फिर एयर बाहर भी चला जाता है दैट मीन्स एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम हार्ट इज getting the opportunity to expand and filled with blood but in tension pneumothorax it is a one way mechanism to ek bar agar air aa gaya to wapas bahar nahi ja sakta and heart is unable to expand further to wo blood bhi receive nahi kar payega other causes of obstructive shock is massive pulmonary embolus and it can also be ivc obstruction the fourth kind of shock is the distributive shock what are the causes of distributive shock one That is sepsis, or is sepsis kisle hua hai? Because of some endogenous and exogenous conditions. It can also be neurogenic shock, like spinal cord transection, and it can be anaphylaxis due to histamine. These examples are very important. Distributive shock is due to anaphylaxis. It is due to neurogenic shock, and it is due to septic shock. That is endogenous and exogenous conditions. Lastly, let's come to endocrine shock. Now endocrine shock is a combination of hypovolemic shock of cardiogenic shock and distributive shock so what are the conditions or what are the causes here that is hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism adrenal insufficiency 